So for logical reasoning, um, I guess my biggest question or the biggest thing I struggled with, I took the October test up until that point was timing. I had done very little like timed practice. I was just sort of trying to figure out how to like approach logical reasoning. And I feel like I have that down now, but I'm sort of struggling with timing. And I don't know if looking at the clock is helping me or hurting me. So I guess what are your thoughts on sort of specifically trying to time logical reasoning to do like 10 and 10 or 15 and 15 and then move on? Yeah, I tend more towards 10 and 10 or mm -hmm. 10 and 12 minutes as a good benchmark. Okay. I wouldn't ever time individual questions. That's ne unnecessarily nerve-inducing. Mm -hmm. So I would say just on an average, work through the easier questions more quickly, build up a time bank to do the tougher ones later in the section. Personally, I don't love that countdown clock on the digital LSAT. Mm -hmm. I would, if, if I were taking it, I would remove that clock. You can just click it to make it go away until you hit the five-minute mark, at which point you can no longer remove it but I find it stress inducing. I would take it away and trust in the prep I've done up to this point that I have my own internal rhythm that keeps me reasonably on track. If you want to check at the, at the, when you've solved question 10 at that point, if you want to quickly check the time remaining to see if you're on track, you could do that, but I wouldn't do more than that. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them and feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.